secret path. I wonder where it leads. Ah, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. It's late summer coming into early autumn and I've decided to try for some bass. I've made the long walk to one of my favourite spots in the hope of catching one of these enigmatic silver pirates. I've actually caught thousands of bass over the years from all around the island and I know this particular spot quite well. Hopefully there'll be a few fish about today. Phew, that really was a long walk. This mark really has it all. Ledges, gullies, drop-offs, weed beds, and good flow on the water. Everything a hunting bass needs to ambush its prey. I'm using an eight foot five to 24 gram rod, a 3000 size reel loaded with 13 pound braid and a 10 pound fluoro leader. More than ample for the job and a very sporting outfit.
straight away on the first cast I'm into a nice fish. Fantastic. There's obviously a few around. It's pulling really hard in the strong flow. Bass are brilliant fighters, especially on light gear. Fantastic, a nice fish of around three pounds. More than enough reward for the long walk. Bass are such beautiful creatures, full of character and aggression. This one took a liking to a sluggo. Let's slip him back. I wonder if we can get another one. Oh, in straight away. <laughs> he took the lure pretty much as soon as it hit the water. Fighting hard in the flow again, as they all do. As I said earlier, amazing fun on the light gear. Conditions are lovely today with clear blue skies, calm seas and a slight northeasterly breeze blowing but it's still very very warm and very enjoyable. We're just coming out of some small neap tides building towards larger springs so hopefully the fishing should get better over the next few days. Bigger tides mean better flow and more optimal feeding conditions for the bass. Wow, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Slip it back. Someone's happy. I managed a third fish a while later, but despite fishing on, that was it for this session. One thing I really love about fishing for bass, especially in the evening, is watching the sun go down. What a beautiful sight. I decided to revisit the spot again the following day to try and maximise on what fish were about. They can be there on one tide and gone the next, so it's important to try and make the most of it when you can. 
I had my son with me this time, and of course, the aim was to try and catch him a bass or two. Conditions were much cooler and overcast than the previous day. The wind had switched to a brisk and fresh northwesterly. The sea was in a slightly more turbulent state, and if anything, it was altogether better feeding conditions for the bass. It took just two casts before my lure was absolutely smashed by a fish. Not a big fish, but very annoyed at having been hooked. A short time later, I connected to another fish. Just a small one this time, but as welcome as any other. Well into the session and Liam was feeling a little frustrated at having not caught, but then suddenly he was into a fish. I think the smile on his face says it all. He couldn't have been happier with the result. Ready. <laughs> 
Hey! Well done, son. Well done. You did it. A few casts later, and the boy wonder was in again with another lovely dark back fish. Another one about the same size, I'd say. 